Why did we bring so many people together, specifically in Tanzania? And it's actually an economic answer for a circular economy to work. We need to be able to create value and bring that value back into the supply chain. We can see people living in difficult conditions. The truth of the matter is, is for recycling professionals, we see a lot of value. You know, these bottles, this plastic, it's a resource that's laying on the ground. And if we can get properly collected, if we can get people supported, what we can do is we can turn all this plastic and all this waste into value and essentially into money. Money that serves the collectors, money that serves the recyclers, money that serves you know everybody throughout that supply chain. What we can build here is an infrastructure. There'll be a concrete floor, so it's not sitting in the dirt. There's gonna be a roof, so people are not working in the sun. There's going to be a control of the materials that come in and a traceability of the material that goes out. We gotta ask just simple questions and make just a few better choices. I hope that when you see the Prevented Ocean Plastic logo, you have a straightforward choice where you can grab something and you can know that it's come from a form of collection that is a little bit elevated, a little bit better, it's cleaned up our environment, and the people in the system are being pushed up.